Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have negative 3, 3 prof t equals 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So we are going to make use of two different methods. So let's start with the first one. And we are going to start by replacing this negative 3 here with product of negative 1 and 3. So we have negative 3. It's the same thing as writing negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of t. And this equals 3. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So what we are going to do will be to make use of this exponent and share to each of the terms here. So we have negative 1 to the power of t times 3 to the power of t. And this equals 3. Now, the next thing will be for us to apply this Euler's identity. If you have e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. So from here, you can easily make this the subject. You can isolate e power i times pi by moving this positive one over here, it becomes negative one. So you have e power i times pi equals negative one. That means negative one equals e power i times pi. So if that is the case, we are now going to replace this negative one here with this e power i times pi. So what we are going to have will be, this is e power i, times pi because of this negative one raised to the power of t times 3 raised to the power of t equals 3. Now at this point if you have a power m raised to the power of m this equals a power n times m. So you can multiply this exponent we are going to have a power i times pi times t times 3 to the power of t and this equals 3. Now at this point we can then make use of natural log. So we have natural log of e to the power of i times pi times t. Then we have times 3 to the power of t equals natural log of 3. Now, let's consider this property of log, which is also applied to natural log. If you have natural log of A times B, this equals natural log of A plus natural log of B. So we apply this property right here. That means we are going to have natural log of e power i times pi times t plus natural log of 3 power t equals natural log of 3. Now there's also another logarithm property which is also applied to natural log. If you have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. So the b here definitely come behind the natural log. That means the i times pi times t Will come behind the natural log and the t will also come behind the natural log. So we are going to have pi times pi times t times natural log of e plus the same thing here t times natural log of 3 and this equals natural log of 3. Now if you have natural log of e this will give you 1. So that means we are simply having this is i times pi times t times 1 plus t times ln 3 this is t ln 3 and this equals ln 3. So if you multiply this up you have i times pi times t plus t ln 3 equals ln 3. So right now we can factor out t there's t here, there's t here. 
So you have t times, if you divide this by t, you have i times part, plus you divide this by t, you have ln3, and this equals ln3. So at this point, we can isolate this t by dividing this by i times pi plus ln3, and we divide this by i times pi plus ln3. So from here, this eliminate this, so we have t equals ln3 divided by i times pi plus ln3. So this is our solution using this first method. So let's also solve this using another approach. So we are going to have the same question again, which is negative 3 to the power of t equals 3. So let's make use of the same first step, which is we are going to replace this negative 3 with the product of negative 1 and 3. So we have negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of this is t, and this equals 3. Now, we are going to make use of this identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. So if I decide to take the squares of both of these, that means the square root here will eliminate the square here. And what we are going to have is negative 1 equals i power 2. So I can decide to replace this negative 1 here with i to the power of 2. So all I'm going to have will be i to the power of 2 instead of writing this negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of t and this equals 3. Now the next thing I'm going to do will be to make use of log. So I take the log of this is i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t and this equals log 3. Now, remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the t will come behind the log. That means we are going to have t times log i power 2 times 3 equals log 3. So from here, remember, we still have this logarithm property. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So we apply that here. That means we are simply going to have t times log let me put it in practice. So you have t times log a. Our a is i power 2 plus log b, which is log 3 equals log 3. So right now, we can decide to isolate this t. We divide this by log i power 2 plus log 3. And we divide this by log i power 2 plus log 3. So from here, this cancel this. You are simply going to have t equals log 3 divided by log i power 2 plus log 3. So remember this logarithm property. If you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the two here will come behind the log. So that means we are simply going to have t equals log 3 divided by 2 log i plus log 3. So this is our other solution. Now we are having two solutions to so look at the first one. 
Okay, this is this one here. And look at the first one here. This is natural log of 3 divided by pi times pi plus ln log 3. While this is log 3 divided by 2 times log pi plus log 3. The both of these solutions are obviously very correct depending on the method that you decide to use. So that is it. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.